How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players linked with a move to Arsenal Football Club. Come on, people. As you know, Robbie is on holiday. He's out there in Turkey. In my country, I don't know what kind of hotel he picked, but the Wi-Fi ain't strong enough for him to be doing his transfer dailies out there. So as you can see from yesterday's show with James taking lead and me today, we're taking the reins over here while Robbie goes to enjoy himself over there. And it's been a little while since he got a chance to enjoy himself, take himself away from the channel. So big up, Robbie. Hope him and the little ones are enjoying out there in Turkey. A lot to enjoy out there as well. Make sure you get a lot of that good food, drink, and just enjoy enjoy the country for what it is. Um, but yeah, Transfer Daily. We've got some players to talk about. And this ain't one of those Transfer Dailies where we're plucking names out of the bottom of a barrel when we're looking at sources that don't quite have that clout. David Ornstein yesterday tweeted about um, Pedro Neto over at Wolves and he insinuated that we're very interested. We've been interested for a little while. Don't forget about three, four weeks ago, Romano did um, let off that there is a mystery winger that Arsenal are interested in. He wanted to clarify who that winger was before maybe coming out with a name and, and attaching his name to the rumour. But it's David Ornstein that's come out, and that mystery winger is Pedro Neto, as James alluded to yesterday. Pedro Neto, listen, outside looking in, um, I think Pedro Neto is, is a good young player. I believe he's about 22 now. Bad, bad injury recently. Question marks about how he returns from that injury. And, and I've seen bits and bobs of him since his return, and he still looks a quality player. Before his injury, I saw a lot of him and, and I remember those times I wanted Arsenal to keep a close eye on him. Let me bring up David Ornstein's tweet. He actually said, Arsenal's transfer priority is Pedro Neto. Discussions for over a month, Arsenal to Jorge Mendes, Mendes to Wolves. Wolves don't plan to sell the 22-year-old um, and Arsenal can't spend excessively, so the deal is not easy. But the interest is concrete and unanimous, apparently. So a bit on Pedro Neto, again, off the top of my head, left-footed, left-winger, most of the time. I know he can play across all of the front three, but I think he was deployed more often than not on the left for Wolves. Um, we were linked to Rafinha earlier on in the window where he predominantly played off the right, which is interesting. Obviously, it's a fluid system and modern-day football needs your players positionally to be fluid across the 90 minutes. So that plays a part in, in who we go for. And with Pedro Neto able to play across the front three, I guess that adds to the arsenal, no pun intended, that um, Arteta will have or would have at his disposal if he was to come in. Um, personally, I like Pedro Neto. I think I think he he's due a move. I think he's due a new test. Um, whether that new test is at Arsenal, we will wait and find out in the next week and a half or so, not long left of the transfer window um, before it all closes and all we can do is wait for January. I'm hoping we're not here waiting for January on any position because I want Arsenal to do their business first and foremost when it's, when it's time to get done in the summer, um, which we have done. The majority of our business, good business at that we have done. Pedro Neto will be a, a nice little addition to that. Um, good business we've done earlier and in the window. It's been suggested that Wolves want about 50 million. Ornstein insinuated that Wolves ain't interested in selling, but if they was to receive a bid of around 50 million, then that would potentially force their hand. I think looking at the rumours, Arsenal are in and around the 35, 40 million ballpark. So not too far off, but we've seen deals fall over for less. So hopefully Arsenal can um, negotiate a deal there for Neto, because again, one more player into that attack would be beautiful. Albeit, me personally, I feel like we need another body in midfield. Another another forward for the attacking line wouldn't go amiss either. Why not? Why not? We'll take him, people. Obviously, we were linked to Jeremy Pino a few days ago, maybe up to a week ago now. Strong links to him. 19-year-old winger at Villarreal. Again, um, stop me if I'm wrong in the comments, but he predominantly plays on the right, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he's, he's right-footed. Again, it's, this is off the top of my head from what I've seen. But again, another interesting young winger. I think maybe too young for what we have at the moment, considering, you know, it wasn't that long ago that we had the youngest squad in the league. Obviously, with the additions of Jesus Zinchenko, that brings that average age up. But Jeremy Pino is an interesting option. If you're asking me now, Pino or Neto, I'm taking Neto all day long. Reason being because he's acclimatised to the league. He's been here a little while. Yes, the injury is a concern. 
but I feel like that's that's past him now, and hopefully, hopefully, um, he, he you know has a full set of fitness moving forward, especially if he comes to join Arsenal. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, Jeremy Pino is still there. There's still some interest. It's obvious that Arsenal seem to be focusing on an attacking forward across the um, front three positions going into the last seven, eight days of the transfer window. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Should we be prioritising a forward slash winger? Or do you guys think, like me, we should be prioritising that midfield position? Listen, we really need both. And we'll take both if given the opportunity. But with seven, eight, nine days left of the window, I think realistically one more over the line um will probably be the case and at this moment in time it is looking like a winger um talking about wingers nicolas pepe as people know he's being strongly linked with a move away from arsenal football club nice being the interested party over in france um and as you saw on the weekend against bournemouth pepe wasn't even on the bench um first time this season he didn't make the bench so that probably speaks volumes in terms of where he's headed next. I think he is on the way out. Sad story with Nicolas Pepe. Listen, when he came into the club, I was over the moon. I thought, what? Arsenal pulled one out of the bag. Never expected it. It was different to the Ozil and Sanchez signings where Ozil and Sanchez were bought off the back of business their previous clubs had done. That allowed for us to manoeuvre in and get those top, top quality players. Pepe, never on that level of Sanchez and Ozil, but Pepe, at the time of coming into Arsenal Football Club, he was one of the most sought-after young players in world European football. Um, we managed to get it done, which was a welcome change to previous transfer windows and previous fights with other clubs for good young players. And it just hasn't worked out. It just hasn't worked out. Um, partly due to Pepe, partly due to maybe the expectation and the weight on his shoulders having come in for such a hefty price tag into a league that is a lot more difficult than the league he was previously at. It just hasn't worked out. It looks like we're going to be taking a massive hit on that price tag with Nice taking a loan and an option to buy next summer at 15 million. Now, people might look at that and say, oh, we've done similar with Guendouzi, having Guendouzi go to Marseille for 9 million this summer after breaking into the French national squad, after having a good season with Marseille, us Arsenal fans looked at and said, that option to buy really killed us because he's worth a lot more. With Nicolas Pepe, on the other hand, I don't think he can do much over in France that will push his value much higher than 15, 20 million anyway. With a year left on his contract next year and overall his time at Arsenal Football Club failing to live up to expectation, I think... Uh, a loan move with an obligation to buy at 15 mil would be a lot better for us. Um, but an option and hope that it goes well and they pick up that option come next summer um, would work for all parties. I'll take 15 mil. I'll take 15 mil now, even with two years left. It, it just hasn't worked out. It's not going to work out. Arteta doesn't fancy him. Might as well keep it moving, people. Um, again, let me know your thoughts on Nicolas Pepe in the comment section below. I'm fortunate, but... You know, it is what it is now. He, I've had enough and I've tried to back him over the years. Um, apparently, as well as Nice, Leicester seem to be interested too. Obviously, Leicester have had one of the quietest transfer windows we've seen any club have um, in recent times. A lot of their fans asking questions over there. Not a great start to the season. Tillemans being linked with a move to Arsenal. Fafana being linked with a move to Chelsea. One not making the squad on the weekend, the other on the bench. So there's problems over at Leicester. This Nicolas Pepe interest, not sure where it comes from, but um, very loose rumours linking Leicester to him. And whilst we're interested in Tillemans, if there is any interest in Pepe, we might as well see what we can negotiate. Considering the Tillemans links have been going all summer, I think why not throw Nicolas Pepe into the mix if they are interested and see what we can work out. In all honesty, I think it will be nice for Pepe. And I think with Tillemans, we will try again, or we will try if we haven't tried already. When you look at him being put on the bench over the weekend, I feel um, reason being not in the right frame of mind, obviously Arsenal being the main only club really linked to Yuri. Um, I think there's a deal to be done there. A year left on his contract, Arsenal playing the waiting game, you know, with about coming up to a week left of the transfer window and no other interested parties in Tillemans. Maybe we we done the right thing. Maybe we will get the player we wanted all along for the best price we could possibly get him for again we'll see in the next eight nine days um but could there be a swap deal on the cards 
um, foot Makata rumours are true, it would make set perfect sense. So that's where they're coming from. Um, still heavily linked Tillemans. Pepe still heavily linked with a move away. Let's see what gets done there. Like, like I said, there's only a few days left of this transfer window and business needs to be done, both incoming and outgoing for Arsenal Football Club. Last but not least, people, Brooke Norton Cuffey, the young right back we have, um, a huge prospect, a lot of good things being said about him. I've seen him a couple of times. He Listen, he's a unit. He looks like he'll be a good addition to the squad in, in a year or so. But this year, he's going out on loan to Rotherham, a season-long loan deal. He recently signed a new contract at Arsenal Football Club, securing his future here, um, which is great news considering the hype around him. Hopefully, he goes over to Rotherham, has a good season, comes back into the side next season where... There probably will be a mini shake-up in the right-back department. I'm not sure how long Cedric has left at the club. Um, but recently we've got rid of, well, I say got rid of Bellerin. Is that even done yet? I don't even know if that's done yet. So that's what I mean by there's still, you know, business to be done, incoming and outgoing. So, um, Brooke Norton Coffey, I think he'll find a place for himself in this squad in the next couple of years for sure. But good luck to him, Martin Rotherham. Hopefully he does well, like I said. And people... Hope you guys have enjoyed this transfer daily. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Let's get the likes up over a thousand real quickly, people. You know how I like it. And yeah, tune in tomorrow for another transfer daily. We'll see who takes the reins then. As always, people, love for the love. And yeah, tune into all the content that's coming out over the next few days, weeks and months ahead. Peace. We're